Usually when I do these tech review videos, I, I, I find out a lot of information about the product so I can let you guys know about it. Uh, I might have a look online to see what other people think about it as well. I use it as a way to give you guys the best uh, point of view or so you guys can make up your mind in the best way whether you think it's going to be good for you or not. A lot of these times these things are sent out to me and sometimes I purchase it myself. But I always let you guys know beforehand like, because I like to be fully transparent with uh, all these videos and all this content that I do. Now Logitech have sent me something out on the post and it's something that I know that's actually been out for a while. I've never actually had one because I've thought I've never really needed one i know way back in the day like when i first started gaming streaming content creation and all that kind of stuff i never really liked the idea of wireless and i think maybe it's just the old man in me because i just didn't want to have to recharge or i didn't want to have to you know i always just thought of the idea of having to charge like the product or making sure that it's always charged uh, I, di I didn't like that i didn't like that but these days to be honest pretty much everything that you see on my desk is wireless you know the keyboard the mouse the headset i think mainly the only things that are still wired now is the microphone and then everything else like the monitor and all that kind of stuff that needs to be wired but logic have sent something out to me that from what i can understand has actually been out on the market for a while so what i thought i'll do is i'm going to unbox it i'm going to open it up and we're going to check it out together to see whether it's good for me and if it's good for you as usual even though my family from logitech ga and z have sent this out to me i'm going to give you my honest opinion so you guys can see whether you you want it or you like it but yeah let's check this out this is it right here power play the power play and as you can see wireless charging system now like i was saying before i know that logitech g have had this for some time we're gonna see if it's still valid now and if it's something that you can see in your setup in 2024 normally do like a full top down view of an unboxing but i'm just gonna rip this open right here so you guys can check it out uh, i need to try and find a knife or something bro these always get me bro these little sticker things these always get me we're gonna use this my special uh box slash cellar tape opening tool we're gonna use this one of one all right that's one side boom be careful if you guys are ever opening up packages bro I know that we can get uh, creative sometimes when we really need something uh, sharp to open up. Let's, uh, let's have a look at this together. Let me see if I can even push this back a bit. Just so you guys can see the full... There we go. That, that's a little bit better. All right. So this is the box here. Just to give you an idea of like roughly how big it is. The size of my hand there. Straight away when, I, when I'm looking at it, I can see like the mouse pad. Now, me personally, I usually like to use like a, like a larger mouse pad. Like the one that I have now is a Logitech. I think it's the G640, I think it's called. I usually have like a larger mouse pad. And the main reason why is because I play on a, on a pretty low sensitivity. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty nice, man. All right. Inside the box. What is it? It's just like a packaging thing keep playing that's pretty cool uh and then inside before i get into it any further is the actual products itself covered in some some nice plastic now when i have a look at it straight away i'm gonna be honest my first impression is it does look a bit small but i think it might be big enough you know it, it is a bit smaller than normal but i think it might be all right underneath this was uh was this one here as you guys can see now the difference between these two i can feel this is like a I don't know, this is like a hard kind of mat. Oh, okay, I think this is like a softer, it's like a softer feel mat, but it's like, um, I don't know, it's like plastic. It's not like a normal mouse pad. But let me just put these down for now. And then this looks like the charging mat. This looks like the actual charging mat. So it comes with two different surfaces, I guess. I think it comes with two different surfaces, whether you want like a harder feel or like a softer feel when you're actually using it. But let's pop this out. Oh, that's the, okay. So that's the charging mat there. Once we get underneath the charging mat, we have everything else gives you instructions and all the other packaging plus the wire. I'm assuming that's the wire that goes from the charging mat into the PC. You also have this little thing down here. I know that this goes into the bottom of the mouse. That's what gives it charge and gives it power and battery and things like that. I need that we have all the, you know, the packaging that has all the, I'm guessing, all the, yeah, all the user manuals. Sticker? No sticker? Bro, I got, I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I got a bunch of Logitech G stickers, man. But no sticker on this one. Oh, good. The cable, as you can see, the cable is not braided. It's like that rubbery, like plasticky kind of feel. And it has like that three prong micro USB plug-in um, that, that Logitech G used to do with a lot of this stuff or all of it, oh, pretty much all this stuff. Now for those wondering what this what this is or what this mouse pad plug-in thing is, for those who don't know what it is, it's essentially a mouse pad that will constantly keep your mouse charged so you just never have to charge it. All you need to do is literally just sit it on the actual pad itself and you, you just never charge it. It's just constantly charged, it constantly has power. To be honest, I guess over the years, I've seen like this product and I've seen it and what it can do and things like that. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set it up, I'm gonna chuck it on my desk so you guys can see what it looks like and see how big it is and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll check it out to see what you guys think. This is the mouse pad that I was using before. It's called the Logitech G640, I think it is. Basically one of Logitech G's uh, mouse pads that they have. But we're gonna take this out. Oh, just to give you, I guess, comparison. There's the Logitech G Pro X2 mouse. Super Light 2, sorry. Just for comparison, like 
I guess the size or like even like my hand. So I'll move that. Okay, now let's get this. Now from what I understand, this sits at the uh, this sits near the top. Well, that's that's a big difference. That's a big difference in size, in my opinion, right? So that sits at the top. Okay, so let's get that. We'll grab this out for now as well because we're going to use this. And then there's the soft. All right, so let's move this box out the way and let's plug this in. Okay, it's not too bad. I guess uh, pretty standard length. I'm guessing we just plug that in here. That sits in there. Wait, do I need to do anything to this? Oh, or peel? Do you peel it? I'm gonna peel this off. Oh my gosh, look at that. Boom. Right. Okay, that makes a lot more sense because I was feeling it before and it was like that plastic thing. I was like, man, how's this gonna stick to this? But this is more of like a I don't know, like a really nice rubberized feel. This will definitely stay like stay sitting on the desk. So once we put that down. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Because this mouse mat is a lot smaller than what I'm used to, I'm gonna have to try and find like the best spot for, for it to go. Hopefully, I think here should still be good, but you know, even sometimes when I am using the mouse, I play on a bit of an angle, but we'll see how we go. We'll just set it up like this and we will see how we go. Okay, let me plug this in. All right, it is on now. I mean, I'm assuming G-Hub is, is recognizing it, trying to see what's going on. So in the meantime, let's have a look at these. I'm thinking what these two are are just different, maybe different like covers or what, I don't know, what would you call it? Different mouse pads that you can put on the, on the charging mat. So you get two included, but let's open up this one just to kind of see what it feels like. Oh yeah, you know, I can I can feel it straight away. There's one that I wouldn't use, but I know that there are people that actually use stuff like this. It was like a like a plasticky kind of like matte kind of finish. Like it's like a it's like a hard one. I don't know if you guys you guys can hear that. But yeah, just to give you an idea of what, uh, what that looks like and feels like. I will just use it now though. We'll just chuck it on here now just to see what it. Okay. So that fits on like perfectly. Oh, and it actually it actually stays on pretty well. I thought it would actually move around a bit, but. And then what we do with this is we basically just pop this out. There's a pack or piece of equipment that we put inside there. And what that does is that it sits inside there and then we go to use it. And let's just test something. I do want to actually try something else and this is actually a good time to talk about it as well. Because apparently when you're using this, you don't need to have the receiver plugged in. So let me just test that. So there's the Pro X2. It's a dongle there. It's a dongle there. Oh, it's not working. Maybe I need to set it up because I can still see the power play is, is flashing. Um, ah, okay, I see. It says uh, an unpaired receiver has been detected. So let's let's just try it. If I go pair, pair mouse, mouse, so pair mouse two, keyboard receiver. Oh, power play. Okay, so you have the option. Okay, so I just, I just turned on the screen record just so you guys can see a lot clearer what it looks like. So if I go to power play, the light speed receiver can connect to power play compatible wireless devices. First ensure the light speed nano uh, receiver included with the mouse is not plugged in. Then turn on the power switch on your mouse off and then back on. Okay, so you guys can see because I'm using a different mouse. Okay, so let's stop using the, the G502. All right, so turn it off and now we turn it back on. Wow, and it's, it's working now. That's the way to do. Oh, there it is. Pro X Super Light 2. It's mad. Okay. You don't actually have to have the receiver of the wireless mouse. I believe as long as it's compatible with uh, with PowerPlay. But I do know that if we go on to Logitech PowerPlay, I know if we go onto the website, uh, onto the like the PowerPlay product. All right. So now that we're like on the on the website, uh, this is it here. So all of the different uh, devices or other firms that have PowerPlay. So G703, G903, G502 Lightspeed, G502 AX, et cetera, et cetera. All of these here are all compatible. The question that I did have though, that I was actually quite, that I'm actually interested in, because I read about this. I read about how you don't need to have the receiver plugged in to be able to use this. I know that recently this mouse got a firmware update, so it has like a 4K polling rate. I'm actually interested to see where they can still do that without the, the you know, its its own receiver plugged in. So I'm gonna have a look. So I'm pretty sure if I go into this, oh, so you can't. Okay, so this is interesting. I'm not too sure whether it's gonna be available in an update. I'm not, I'm not 100 sure exactly how it works. But as far as I understand, Understand the current polling rate maximum, or it says your mouse is currently connected to a receiver that limits its wireless uh, report rate to a maximum of 1K. I know when the new Superlight came out, I think it was maxed out at 2K, and then they've done a firmware update, now it can go up to 4K. But if you're using PowerPlay, if you're using the new uh, the Superlight 2 and using it on the PowerPlay mat, maximum is, is a 1000, is a rate of 1000 hertz. Now, to be honest, to some, this, this may not mean anything, it may be fine, you know, it doesn't really matter. This is one of the things that I thought about when I heard that you don't need to have your receiver your wireless receiver plugged in just as proof just so you guys uh, can see that it actually works here's the here's the receiver here 
a progs to receive that's, it. That's proof that you don't need a plug in. I think that that's kind of handy. I do, let's, I do want to try this though. Let's, let's try something else. What if, what if we take out the G502X and the Pro X2 and see and see if we can use both of them? I'm about to find out, All right? Is it only one at a time maybe? Oh, I think it is. I think it's only one at a time. It's very easy. All you do is you just, just go disconnect and then you gotta turn it off, turn it on and it picks it up. Man, that, that's quick though. I'm not gonna lie, that is actually very quick. You can use two different mouse on the power play. You can use, I'm assuming any, as, as many as you like. You just gotta, can only have one connected at a time. Now you're probably thinking like, who would actually use this? I feel like not really many people would use like two different mouse. To be honest, I have these two. I usually use this one if I'm playing like any FPS games or anything like that. And then uh, this bad boy here, pretty much for GTA RP and editing and just just everyday use, this is the main one. Just because you can do a lot more, has a lot more buttons and stuff like that. So far, I actually learned quite a lot about the, the mouse pad. So right now it's Tuesday afternoon at 4 p.m. I'm gonna use it while I'm streaming, I'm gonna use it while I'm editing, I'm gonna use it while I'm just playing games offline or just doing whatever using the PC. And then I'm gonna let you guys know my, my honest opinion, things that I've found out, things that I like, things that I dislike, so you can see whether it's gonna be good for you. It's been about roughly a month since I've been using the power play now. And to be honest, I've used it in a whole bunch of different games. And some of you guys already know, I play a lot of GTA RP, but if you guys didn't, you guys can find me live on Twitch pretty much almost every day. But like I just said, I've tested with a bunch of different games. So GTA RP, uh, some Destiny 2, some Fortnite as well. To be honest, I was trying my hardest to, to nitpick a bit and try and see what I didn't like about the power play. I feel like the mouse pad is something that I, I thought that I didn't need until I actually used it, if that makes sense. Because I knew that the power play mouse pad was out, but I just never really thought like, like, oh, do I need that? Oh, should I get that? There are a few things. One thing that did surprise me when I got this was the two different surfaces. To be honest, I didn't know exactly what to think about them, how I would like them, what I thought that they would be like or anything like that. But as you can see, one of them is like a, it's like a traditional kind of smooth, I guess, material kind of feel. And then the other, like a matte, like hard surface. Like if you can hear that, that that's uh, that's what it kind of was like. This one I actually thought, you know, there's there's no way that I'm gonna be using this one, but I did actually give it a try. You know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to give my honest opinion if unless I gave it a try. So I tried both of them. I did kind of gravitate towards like the traditional kind of material kind of feel, and that's just because I've always used that kind of mouse pad. But the other one was actually quite good. The hard surface wasn't too bad. Probably the only thing I didn't like about the the power play mouse pad was just the size. It was too small, man. But that's just personal preference. I want to stress that. That's definitely personal preference. I know these days there's a lot of people that play on like a higher sensitivity and this will be plenty of space. It'll be more than enough. But someone like me who usually plays on like a lower sensitivity, it's a lot harder to kind of move around or I felt myself going to the edge of the mouse mat a lot. I actually done some research online and it was quite a common thing. A lot of people were saying that, you know, they wish that it was bigger or that there was an XR version of the of the power play mouse pad. Let me show you what I done. This is what I done. It's good that I actually took it off before. So if we have a look at this here, now you're probably thinking, because this is the base, you're probably thinking, what is this guy doing? Why are there cutouts of cardboard around the base of the power play or the mouse pad? Now that's easy. You know, they don't have a, a bigger version. Now I do not recommend doing this. This is totally up to you if you want to do it. I'm not, I'm not sure though. I, I should find out if this voids any kind of warranty or anything like that, but it's not really an adjustment. It's not really a modification to the actual hardware itself. I have seen some other ones where people have adjusted it. It's literally finding something that is of a, of a similar, I guess similar dimension or similar thickness to this part. So the bottom part, the, the actual charging part. So what I done is I got my, my regular mouse pad and I got an old box and I measured it. I slipped it underneath the mat so it stuck out a little bit here. I literally got a pen, I drew a line down the side of it. This one, I done the same thing over here. I, I drew a line, I got some scissors and I cut the cardboard. But it literally fits right underneath. Now, obviously we don't get charged anywhere on the cardboard areas, but if we put it up here, as you can see, it still charges. As long as we're in the zone of the charging pad, it still works. Now again, I need to double, I need to double check whether this is, uh, this voids warranty or doesn't void warranty. I'm not 100% sure. I'm confident that it should be fine because technically we're not uh, modifying the original charging pad or anything like that. But this is actually good to know. This is more so just me just testing it out just to see if it'll work, if it fits. And to be honest, this is pretty much how I've been using it the last couple of days. Thought I'd just switch the camera around, but I was gonna say this is awesome because it, it gives me the best of both worlds. I can have the, the larger size mouse pad that I need that I'm normally used to, but then I can also charge it with power play. Now again, I do not know if this voids warranty or anything like that. I'll see if I can find out and I'll edit the description below. So maybe check that out. 
if you're looking at this video a couple days after anything like that i might actually have a look into it and see if it actually voids warranty or if you're allowed to do this or if you're not allowed to do this but this has actually worked for me i'll put the dimensions of this mouse pad on the screen as well just to give you guys a bit of an idea but usually i like to choose mouse pads or use mouse pads that are around about this size around that size is what i usually go for honestly the idea behind it the technology behind it i think is awesome for the first couple of days i was switching between the the power play mouse pad and then my normal mouse mat this is the size that comes with the power play i'll put the actual dimensions up on the screen here all right here and it's a little bit dirty i need to i need to wash Let it move back a little bit this is this is my normal mouse pad that i play on or well, this is the one that i'm currently using and this this is the size that i normally go for like a like a larger mouse pad but again it's mainly because i play like on a lower sensitivity other people that use their mouse on a lower sensitivity you guys will understand and one thing that i was actually quite impressed by was the links that logitech went through to try and make this technology actually work i've seen that there's other technology out there where you may have to rest your mouse in a particular spot on the mouse pad very similar to like i don't know if you've seen like those wireless chargers for your phone and stuff like that maybe it might be in a, in a certain spot or in a certain i guess uh, area but with the power play you can literally put your mouse on any part of that zone and your mouse will start charging automatically but one thing that i was actually quite impressed by was just not having to charge that at all like i never have to worry about my mouse needing to be charged or plugged in now price wise let's have a look let's go onto the logitech website if we go logi.gg forward slash solid gifts you guys can check this out as well and let's hit go by doing that not only will you pick up a little discount for yourself but you'll also be helping me out as well so remember make sure you guys hit the link it'll be in the description as well if we just look it up power play let's see if I just search power play on the Logitech website, let's see. Oh, there you go. It pops up. It's the first thing it pops up. 229 on the website. Now that's Australian dollars. It might be different for those of you guys that are in the States or in different parts overseas. You go through to the website. If you go check out, the discount should already be applied if you are clicking the link, if you're going through the link. And it does. You do get a bit of a discount as well. Okay, so this is after discount. So if you use code solid gifts or if you just click on the description, if you go through the link. So 229 down to two, what's that? 209? 20695. So again, from 229 down to 20695. I don't, I don't think that's too bad okay as i'm editing this video i do just want to add that i've done another quick price check just to see if there was anything else i did see that they do have a cheap on amazon this is the lowest price that i could find for the power play brand new i actually did see that there were some other shops online that were selling it used but i'm not too sure what the goal is with the warranty and all that kind of stuff but just to give you a bit of a price comparison so you can get it directly from logitech or from other retailers online now i want to be honest what do i think this is for honestly if you find yourself having to always charge your mouse or if you forget to charge your mouse or someone that if you just don't want to worry about it at all i definitely think this will be a good pickup for you when it comes to things like gaming it's just one less thing to worry about especially if you've got a lot of things going on if you're busy throughout the day and if you don't want to have to worry about this there's definitely something that you should consider but whether you're a streamer just casual gamer whether you play games a lot i think it'll just suit anyone do i think that you should buy this to be honest i do feel like the price is a bit on the steep side but like i was saying before it's something that i didn't think that i needed until i actually used it but after actually using it i'm thinking to myself man this is actually pretty good so if you're in the market for a new piece of tech or something to add to your desk or your setup definitely check out the power Powerplay wireless charging system by Logitech. If you haven't already, please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel as well, and let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Let me know if you've got one, if you have any questions about it. Big shout out to all the people that actually comment on the other videos as well, where you guys ask questions, what I think about it. Even technical questions, I usually try my best to answer them as well. So put it down in the comments, don't be shy. I'll try my best to answer them in the best way possible. Big shout out to Logitech G for sending this out to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.